Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. If you like support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get access to this full video or the full video of this analysis, our single service and also our online trade and courses. The link is down below. You're really welcome to join us. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we ran into resistance yesterday um, at, uh, at uh, the 50 moving average. And then we broke down towards the 20 exponential moving average today. And now we're trading at roughly uh, 90.45. So if we break below the 20 exponential moving average, that opens the door to these very lows. And I think that is where we are heading. If we are looking at the technical indicators the cci is turning around very aggressively so is rsi stochastic is flat at this point the macd is turning flat so we had quite a nice rally up towards the 50 and now we're heading back towards these very lows so this will have major implications for um, commodities pressure metals uh, indices and so on um, most indices are expected to rally so that basically uh, this will basically boost that rally. The same goes for gold. Should be very bullish if this falls back towards these previous lows here at the 89.15. And if that breaks, then we are going significantly lower. We are in downtrend. The 50, 20 exponential have been quite um, resistant in the past. We have rallied okay, occasionally above the 50, but we never ever basically really started trending upwards towards the 200 moving average so a pullback from here if we break the 20 exponential then we are going to see uh, a major moving in most uh, commodities and precious metals so let's look at oil so as you can see we have rallied quite a bit here in oil today we're up roughly um two percent i thought that oil was going to drop even further but of course the US dollar started depreciating and that is very bullish for this market so there's no reason for us to basically be in this uh, in this uh, in this uptrend to be fairly honest most of this was um, due to um, vaccine news stimulus news uh, OPEC basically pushing this market even higher and uh, probably now a little bit of optimism now that Donald Trump is going to be out of office and the United States is going to just going to flood the money with um, liquidity and going to get their economy back um, to work. But there's that that doesn't mean that we're still supposed to tr be trading at the 52. Basically, it's an almost same level as prior to this major crash here. So, so um, yes, it is to be seen. It's still, the 20 exponential is major support in this market pullbacks towards the 20 exponential are to be bought into target at this point is 55 i would be very surprised if we go significantly higher that in the short run so we may see a range here at 55 to around 50 or even lower than that 55 all the way down all the way down, all the way down to 45 probably technical indicators are well, they're turning around. The stochastic is bearish. The MACD is flat. The CCI is looking uh, more bear, uh, bullish. And so is the RSI. So we have to take out these previous highs here at the 53.70 in order to get to 55. Otherwise, a pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average is a major buying opportunity with a stop loss underneath. So let's look at natural gas. So, as I kind of said yesterday, I expected us to uh, break down towards the 200 moving average. So, this is just a continuation of this move here. So, breakdown, rally, breakdown, rally, breakdown, rally, breakdown, rally. So, we never really managed to trade above the 50 moving average. We pierced it and then we just broke down significantly. Now, we're trading at 2.5 and uh, next target is roughly 2.345 if the 200 moving average breaks that opens the door all the way down to two dollars for natural gas 
So keep an eye out. If this breaks, then we're going all the way down to two. I have no interest in basically buying this whatsoever at this point. Um, if it breaks the 200 moving average, I'll probably start shorting this. So let's look at copper. Sorry, something happened there. Yes, uh, we can see that we tried to rally a little bit, but broke down again. Um, at this point, if we see the US dollar is continuing depreciating, then this is going to go all the way to 3.75. If 3.75 breaks, then we're going all the way to 3.8 and beyond that. I think that long-term target for this is basically for four dollars. So we can see that we have been in this really nice uptrend. It hasn't been parabolical at any point. We have had okay, occasional pullbacks towards the 50 moving average rally, break down below the 50, and then uh, quite a big rally, break down again, and then rally. At this point, um, I would not be surprised if we break towards the 50, but as you can see, that is basically just a major buying opportunities. Um, so if you look at the technical indicators for copper, they are fairly mixed. CCI is becoming bullish, uh, MACD, Stochastic, and the RSI are all bearish at this point. If you look at the four hour chart and one hour chart, you can see when this is going to take off. But usually when things just stay at a certain point, can manage to break through, that means that they usually start rallying to the upside. So I, my bets are that we are going to head at least two points, these previous highs of 3.7242. So let's look at uh, gold. So we did manage to break above the 200 moving average, but at the moment we gave some of those gains uh, back and now we're trading underneath the 200 moving average. Technical indicators are turning around, so I do think that we are going to go significantly higher. Uh, we are still trading above this trend line. We did pierce it yesterday went all the way down to 1809 and then we rallied again. At this point, we are uh, well trading right underneath the 200 moving average. If the 200 moving average breaks, then we head to 50 and then to the 20 exponential moving average. But we are getting very close to this corner. You can see it here. It is just a matter of time before we basically get into this space here and then we'll have to break either way to below the support line, which opens the door to far, far lower levels, all the way down to um, 17.50 and then 17, or towards 1900 and 1950. And my bet is to the upside. I just don't see how gold will depreciate uh, while the market is basically flooded with cheap liquidity. Uh, that usually does not happen and I don't think that is going to happen in this case either. Um, so what I think is going to happen is that we're going to break towards 20, uh, 1900, then 1950, and then to 2000 and beyond that. So let's look at silver. So as you can see, we're trading under uh, between the 50 and the 20 exponential moving average. We rallied a little bit and gave most of those gains back. But technical indicators, they are similar to with gold. They are mixed. And MACD, stochastic, RSI are fairly bearish, while the CCI is bullish at this point. Um, there is a lot of resistance above. There's a lot of support underneath. If you look at this area here, that is major resistant for this market. And if you look underneath, then we have this area here and the 200 moving average that is massive support and we're basically right in the middle so entering gold at uh, silver at this point is uh, well just gambling to be fairly honest we could break towards this this support line we could also uh, rally towards this resistance line it's there technically just 50 50 at this point while the technical leaders are not saying anything so in order for um, to, me to buy in for to this market we should uh, rally technically above this level here in order to give confirmation that we are going to trend higher. Or 
break down towards a 200 moving average and then rally from there. That will also be definitely buy-in. I have no interest in basically shorting this because I'm uh, similar to gold. I am very, uh, very bullish on silver and gold. So let's look at platinum. So we broke down towards that the 20 exponential moving average. And at this point, I think that we are going to get ready towards to take out these previous highs. 20 exponential basically proved yet again to be very uh, supportive. Technical indicators are not all turning around. CCI is turning around and the, MAC and the RSI uh, as well. But the stochastic and the MACD are still fairly bearish at this point. So it may as well be that we are going to... Um, trade sideways for a while before going higher but i do think that because of the 20 exponent moving average being so uh, supportive it is very likely that we are going to go higher so a target of these previous highs of 11 uh, 27 and the stop loss right underneath here that is a plausible trade at this point so let's look at pallium so well Yet again, we've broken down towards the 50 moving average. We pierced the 20 50 moving average, and then uh, now we're staying right at the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for this market, but we are just seeing more of the same. We are trading in the highs and the lows here, and at this point, it is very likely that we'll, if we break below the 50 moving average, that we are going to, first of all, test the 22.62, and then head towards these very lows of 21.77. Um, rally from here and heading towards 22.95, um, 22, uh, that is basically the top of this market. But at this point, we're just right in the middle, and that is just pure gambling to enter this market, either with a sell or a buy at this current stage. So, so let's look at aluminium. So aluminium broke down significantly today and then rallied. So we gapped down and then rallied. And at this point, we are trading at 1956. So this is going to be really interesting. If the 20 exponential and then the 50 basically cross, that could mean that we are going to see this market go significantly lower. If we rally up towards the 20 exponential and we average and that uh, proves to be resistant uh, and we cannot break through it, that means that we are going much lower. We're going down to uh, 1900 and then we're going all the way down to 70 or 1800 and probably all the way down to the uh, 200 moving average at 1730. But uh, if you look at the technical indicators, they are, well, a little bit mixed. Stochastic is flat at this point. MACD is very bearish. We're underneath Syria as well. And uh, Stochastic is also very, very bearish. We're at 31, so a lot of room to the downside. So we may fall all the way down to 1900 before we see a rally up towards the 20 exponential moving average. So um, fairly, very interesting. We have tried this before. We were uh, down here, but it did not break as uh, far below the 50 moving average as it did back in the end of August. So at this point, it just wait, basically what happens here. Rally up towards the 20, if that proves to be resistant, then it's possible to basically start shorting this. So let's look at nickel. So nickel rallied up towards the previous highs here of the 18,358 and then gave most of those gains back. Technical indicators, they are either bearish or flat at this point. Uh, RSI is flat, the stochastic CCI is flat, the stochastic is bearish, and the MACD is fairly flat at this point. If you want to enter in this market to, for a buy, definitely not sell because I'm not, uh, not selling this uptrend, uh, then entry point should be here at 17.489. That is the nine, uh, 200, uh, no, 20 exponential moving average. A break below that opens the door to the 50, and that's a definitely a massive buy in for for this uh, precious metal. But at this point, we are too far away. To short this is just, well, doesn't make any sense. The best trade to do here is, the best thing to do here is to 
wait for this to pull back towards the 20 or the 50 in order to buy in. So let's look at sugar. So we have started the pullback as was barely expected. This was way, way out of, way, way overstretched. If you look at the bullish band, we were outside of the bullish band there. We were outside here as well. And usually when we get outside in, the, in this market, it has a major pullback. So 20 exponential is has pre been very supported in the past. It may be as well now. We are, if you look at technical indicators, most likely going to see this market fall significantly lower, at least to the 20 exponential moving average. Um, probably the simple, maybe, um, in worst case scenario, we'll head all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band. It will travel this way, so we'll most likely hit within this area here, these previous resistance support levels here. But at this point, the lower that this technically gets, the, well, the cheaper it gets, the better the buying opportunity. Technical indicators are all turning around, so it'll probably be a few days. So let's look at cotton. So we have started to break down yet again. We have created this inverted hammer here, and usually that is a bearish sign. Technical indicators are either flat or bearish, but we need to get closer to the 50, 20 exponential moving average. So 0 0.78 to 65, that is where um, buyers will come back in and push this even higher towards the top of the bullish band. That is at 0 0.82, 83. So it's just a wait. A stop loss underneath the 20 exponential and then target these previous these highs here so let's look at cocoa because cocoa did something really interesting today we rallied all the way up towards the top of the bullish band and way above the 50 moving average we have done this before so even though this looks really bullish technically indicators look very very bullish as well there's a lot of room to the upside we may go pierce the, uh, the Bollinger Band and then just break down to the bottom of the Bollinger Band and get, yet again. So if we break down and find that the 50 moving average is supportive and then we, uh, we bounce from that, then that is a really good sign. That is an indication that we'll most likely head towards uh, 2.75. So we'll see what basically happens when we see a pullback towards the 50 because that will be a huge... Um, huge shine that we are ready to go higher in this market. So let's look at wheat. So we have started our breakdown. We rallied above the Bollinger Band here, and now we're trading way down here at 672. And we are heading most likely towards uh, 650. That's around this area here, just at the 20 exponential moving average. And that will be, that is going to be the, buy in for this market technical indicators are turning around we are on the edge of being overbought so we were significantly overbought before we broke down so that is a clear sign that we are going towards at least uh, 650 and stop loss underneath that and target of these highs that is going to be the trade so if you have any questions just ask me on patreon otherwise good luck and thank you very much